Today on Burke Makes Stuff, I get to share with you how I built my two-stage Cyclone dust collection system that has the smallest possible footprint for the shop vac that I decided to use and still has a ton of power to help you clean up your shop. If this sounds like something that interests you, sit back, because we'll get into it now. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that there's some of you out there going, what the hell's the point to a two-stage cyclone dust collection system? I have a shop vac. Isn't that enough? The answer is it might be, and that's kind of really up to you. But for a better explanation of what the hell's the point, let's take a look at some really ugly drawings. This is your run-of-the-mill shop vac. The way it works is exceedingly simple. There's a motor up here that sucks air through the filter, through the body, and in through that little tiny port that you have your hose connected to. The dust and all the debris hits the filter and a lot of it drops down into the basin, but a lot of it also gets stuck in the filter. And the air that's sucked through the filter and the body of the shop vac gets blown out here. The problem is that all those tiny particles of dust accumulate and can clog up your filter really fast. Oh, so here's what I'm gonna build. This is a two-stage cyclone dust collection system. And what it does is save and preserve the suction from your vac for much, much longer than it would otherwise. It still uses the motor from your shop vac to supply the suction it needs, but it works a little bit differently than your shop vac. Dust goes up the hose and into the cyclone here where it spins around. Now, because of inertia and linear movement, which I'm not gonna discuss in this video, the dust drops down into the five gallon bucket we have below it. And the clean air goes up and out of this pipe and gets sucked into the shop vac the exact same way it would in a regular situation. But because all the dust and debris have settled into the five gallon bucket, there's almost none left to go into the shop vac. And what I'm going to do is add a dust collection bag within the shop vac so that any dust that does make its way there gets stopped dead in its tracks by that bag, preserving 100% of the suction that's coming from the motor because none of the dust is getting to the filter. When the five gallon bucket gets filled with dust and debris, you empty it the same way you would with the regular shop vac, except in this situation, you'll almost never have to clean your filter again. And for me, that is definitely worth the investment. Now, I want to make sure to give credit where credit is due. While I watched over 40 different videos about dust collections for the home to take ideas and squish them into this project, one stood out by a mile, and that was done by John Builds It. I'll make sure to link that in the description below. Now, I did speak to John, and he knows that I'm doing this video, which I guess you might call an update to his, uh, and I'm doing it specifically because of something that he left in the description of his video, which said this. Rigid has updated the model of vacuum, so the fittings I use will no longer work for the new model. This fit perfectly together because I had already chosen to use the new model of the Rigid NXT shop vac. So this is all the updated fittings and all the updated pieces for that. I hope that helps you guys. Now let's get back to the build. When I do anything in my shop, I wanna make sure that I do it right. So I went out and I splurged because I wanna only have to build this system once. I went and I got the Oneida Dust Deputy Deluxe Kit. You see here, it comes with all of this stuff. If you don't go with the Dust Deputy Deluxe Kit and you decide just to go with the regular kit, it comes with the Cyclone, the gasket, and the screws. But for a little monetary investment, I upgraded to the Deluxe Kit because it came with everything I needed, which made life a lot easier. And I coupled that Deluxe Kit along with the new version of the Rigid NXT 14 gallon shop vac and came up with this. In order to provide as much value as I possibly can to you guys, what I'm going to do to explain this build is break it down into three simple sections and explain them in as simple terms as possible. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, if you think you might still get lost, don't worry at all, because in the description below in this video, there is a complete list of every piece, every joint, every coupling, every length of tube that you're possibly gonna need for this. It's all there, so you can go take a look at that and make it nice and simple. Thank you. 
Starting at the bottom, we simply have a two inch PVC coupling that fits perfectly into the caster on the rigid shop vac. Using the casters this way and building the legs directly off of those guarantees that we keep the legs and the body inside the footprint of the shop vac that it comes with, therefore guaranteeing that we have the smallest possible footprint for our shop vac. And into that, we've plugged a 30 inch length of two inch PVC. At the top of that, we have a PVC cap and all four legs are made the exact same way. Now we're just gonna screw them into the platform, which is made out of half inch plywood. It's 24 inches by 24 inches wide with an 11 and one quarter inch hole made in the center to fit the dust deputy. At this point, I also drilled two two and a half inch holes to hold the extra hard tubing that came with the shop vac. I found at this point I had to also cut a little notch into each of those holes to accommodate for the locking mechanism that's built into these hard tubes. Starting from the suction port on the shop vac, we have what's called a two inch plastic hub by two inch flexible PVC coupling. Now easily explained, that's just a flexible coupling that goes on uh, the outside of a plastic socket on one end and directly to a two inch PVC pipe on the other. Now I've cut a single section off of each of these to make them a little smaller and closer to the shop vac itself. Into the PVC pipe end of the coupling, I have a two inch long section of PVC and that connects to a two inch PVC 90 degree elbow. Then I have a 42 inch length of two inch PVC tubing. And at the level of the platform, I've also incorporated what's called a hold tight two inch plastic J hook for added stability. Continuing upward at the top of this section, we have another 90 degree elbow that's joined to a six and a half inch length of two inch PVC and joins the 90 degree elbow that comes with the Dust Deputy Deluxe Kit using a two inch to one and a half inch flexible PVC coupling. The third and final section of this build is extremely simple. It's just to connect the two and a half inch shop vac hose to the dust port on the dust deputy. And we're gonna do that using one more of those two inch to one and a half inch flexible PVC couplings. There's other various accessories, of course, that came with the shop vac that I included on board the platform for easy use to hold on to the accessories and to the extra pieces that came with the shop vac. Now, while there are a lot of words in that explanation, putting this thing together is very, very simple. And it is a wonderful upgrade to any one shop. Having only a 24 inch by 24 inch footprint and standing only 60 inches tall, I slide this thing into the closet when I don't need it. Out of sight, out of mind, I have all of my room. It doesn't take up much. And when I need it, I know that the power and suction is there. That's a win-win. One other upgrade that I made that I really think is worth mentioning is what I did with the filter and dust bag that came with this vacuum. I got rid of them. Uh, I replaced them with heparated filters and a heparated dust bag. What that does is that it catches the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest of particles so that the air coming back into your shop from your shop vac is that much cleaner. And uh, I just think that makes sense. Guys, if you're still watching this video and you haven't clicked like, go click like, you watched the whole thing. And if you haven't subscribed, well, that's insane. So go subscribe to Burke Makes Stuff. I can't wait till you're a member of our community and we continue to share this. Please, if you have any questions, comments, wanna yell at me for anything crazy, feel free to leave the comments below. I always get back to my community members. You guys rock out. I'll see you guys next time with some other crazy build. We'll find out what it is then.